Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm here, I believe, because uh, I'm used to see traveler and older traveler for vaccine at the travel clinic. And so it would be interesting to discuss some problem we have. The first step, uh, I think, is uh, for such traveler to check uh, the routine immunization is okay because a uh, lot of them uh, didn't uh, have the boost and so we have to check for uh, tetanus, uh, polyomyelitis and diphtheria and for some of them also pertussis, depend on the kind of travel they have to do and so we have to be sure that uh, immunization is right. Uh, elder people travel more and more and uh, all over the world and they uh, will be uh, encounter a lot of uh, bacteria or virus or disease they're not used to see everywhere in France or in Europe where they are. So we have also to check uh, and to uh, explain them a lot of things about uh, an environment which uh, could be hostile uh, regarding what they have uh, every day. Some of uh, other vaccines are uh, very uh, easy to propose them as uh, typhoid fever or uh, A hepatitis because they are well tolerated and easy to administer. All uh, other vaccines are uh, B hepatitis also are proposed but we have to know that uh, the uh, older the patient are and less the human response is good. And this is true also for the other vaccine. For the vaccine uh, as a yellow fever which uh, could be uh, administered for some countries uh, the difficulty is that uh, after the age of uh, 60 years old the risk of uh, side effects uh, could be uh, important even though it's uh, not uh, very frequent uh, and we have to deal with the benefit balance and if uh, there is a contraindication of the vaccine we have to counsel the patient not to travel to the destination or to change the destination uh, if uh, they can sometimes they cannot so we have uh, difficulties and to explain them that there is a benefits risk ratio which is not always favorable and sometimes we do not vaccinate them. Other vaccines also could be considered as uh, tick-borne encephalitis, as uh, Japanese encephalitis or rabies. We must say that uh, in elderly people uh, data uh, are very scarce and we have not a lot of information. And for example, the uh, World Health Organization recommend the tick-borne encephalitis vaccine for uh, all travelers who go in high-risk countries with the incidence in high. So in brief, uh, the travel clinic is a good opportunity to check for the routine vaccine and also for discuss the, the other vaccine, considering uh, the age of the patients and the comorbidities and the possible side effect of the uh, vaccine we could administer and as we say in medicine, primum not notary.